Hello friend, welcome to Salesforce tutorial video. I am Prajakta Bhur from Paragide Technology. In a previous video, we learned the relationship in Salesforce. That means what is the difference between lookup relationship and the master data relationship and what that relationship are. So today we are going to see how to create a remote site setting or we can say what is the use of remote site setting. Okay, so go to the search box and type remote site setting. So under the security control, you can find the remote site setting link and click on it. So click on the new remote site button to create a new site. And here is the platform to create a remote site setting. Now when we want to invoke external web services, remote site setting comes in picture. Before any Apex callout can call an external site, that site must be registered in the remote site setting. Otherwise our call will get failed. Okay, so I will tell you the scenario for which I am going to create a remote site. I just want to integrate my Salesforce with Google Drive and for the authentication, I need an access token. So I have written one class. Here you can see uh, the name is test site and the method name is access token of a Google Drive. Now I have created the HTTP request object and I just set the method set method set endpoint url set header and the message body and what are the necessary things that i have just put it here so i have created the http object and i will just will get a response when i hit the send method and i will have my access token into the this object or we can say this variable okay now this is what the endpoint url that is provided by the google drive to hit and have the access token now if i put this method on a visual force page or we can say on any command button and i if i preview my visual force page then it will show me the error because we haven't registered this endpoint url in our remote site setting so for that i have to set or i have to register this into the remote site setting so copy it and paste it in your remote site setting and give the name so I will give the name like uh, remote site yeah remote site setting for the Google Drive and always remember by default our remote site setting is true and say save. So congratulations we have created our first remote site setting. Now when I call this method from a visual force page it will not show me the error and I will have the access token into my this variable okay so this is very simple you must try when you make any call out at that time our endpoint url must be stored into the remote site setting this is mandatory or we can say it should be registered into the remote site setting so thank you for watching this video guys to know about us you can visit www.paraguide.com thank you bye bye